we have uncovered some serious, serious malfeasance in the city clerk office. And they're questionable at the highest level that involves city clerk in your, in your division. Uh, they've been going on check for years. Part of what I would like to discuss today uh, are the following, the city clerk refusal to cooperate with the auditor, when the auditor was seeking a routine information about city finance, the inability of city clerk and Yoko Fizz uh, to explain the nearly $400,000 in Michigan cash to the city clerk's office, and I'll say that again, uh, inability to explain the nearly $400,000 in Michigan cash to the city clerk's office. Also, the city clerk failed to enter and process tickets of a federal parking ticket program to the tune of $1.8 million. Before you on the table, are all the tickets, nearly 6,000, 8,000 tickets that were written by our police officers that the city clerk failed to collect revenue and failed to enter into the system of a federal program that cost the city potentially $3.8 million in revenue. If you have the tickets in front of you, you're more than happy to look at those tickets. And also the city clerk failed to deposit, which uh, our auditor will explain, she failed to deposit $22,000 in checks written by residents, checks written by businesses, and checks written by normal people uh, who wanted to do business with the city of Cayman City. And what that did was, when those checks were failed uh, to be deposited by the city clerk, it caused businesses not only to uh, be shut down, it caused businesses not only to lose their business licenses, uh, but the clerk, failed to account for $22,000 in cash in her vault for 2020, 2021, and as the auditor will explain there are other years that the clerk collected the cash but failed to deposit that money into the city account. The clerk also improperly placed 